Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Boardsy, and if you thought I was excited to review the final mouse, if you thought I was excited when I reviewed the Super Light, um, this they pale in comparison to how excited I am to review the Ducky Feather or the best FK clone for left-handed people. That applies to tons of people, right? Um, but the Ducky Feather, this is a mouse that I could have reviewed, like, I think well over six months ago. Um, I was, like, kind of led on by this one company that, not Ducky, I was like, we're gonna send you this mouse for a review, and then that never happened, so I just bought it secondhand, lightly used, obviously, lightly used, so I feel like this is a copy that has a few months of wear, on it so I can really give an accurate and honest depiction of what the ducky feather is going to look like if you own it first off I just want to talk about these side grips they aren't bad that's really all I can say about them you think they would be too small to really like work but no they're fine um, something I don't like are these right hand side buttons it's just I personally I don't like it coming from a point of right-handed privilege but if you are an oppressed left-handed person I oh fuck god that hurts to do um, but if you are a left-handed person I guess having those side buttons on the right side would be nice um, but for me whenever I fingertip on a mouse that has right hand side buttons it just gets in the way of my ring finger and of course these buttons are shit and are like mushy have tons of pre-travel so it's just always like my ring finger slightly pressing down a button if I move my hand too fast I'll fully press it down so that's that's kind of fucking annoying um but this mouse works if you claw grip it is very close to the actual fk shape a lot of times when you say fk clone we say like fk inspired like you could say that the final mouse shape is like fk inspired but it's not a fucking clone this is close to being a clone i'm pretty sure it's a few millimeters shorter but i do not you guys know i do not rock with measurements they don't mean anything numbers are fake we invented math we did not discover it uh, but that's a debate for another day um the cable is surprising surprisingly good ducky making a very solid cable on their mouse um, so that's awesome this mouse is $60 you get a good cable you get decent feet and you also get tons of replacement feet um, you see they have like the hybrid feet design and you get you get a lot of feet in the box um, so that's kind of cool the features I would say are solid um, if you don't like right-handed side buttons and you play fingertip that's really gonna be a problem if you claw grip I can't really see any scenarios where you would be pressing the buttons down and if you palm grip fuck you I'm not going to tell you anything if you palm grip um this mouse is plug and play as all ducky products are you see there's like lod adjustment woo um pulling rate button and a dpi button all of the sensor shit on this mouse feels fine it's a 3389 happy with the sensor position um no dpi deviation you see they got the ring around it and yeah you can adjust the lod so the sensor implementation on a wired mouse is fine. I could have just said that, saved a lot of time. Uh, the build on this mouse, it is solid. Like there is a bit of flex and I can get it to actuate the buttons, but that's only if I put a lot of effort. And just in hand, it feels solid until you get to these main buttons. Um, you see there's a bit of actually a pretty significant amount of play. And while that play is happening, it's also creaking. So there's like this weird creaky pre-travel, which is why I'm saying this mouse is lightly used. Maybe Maybe it comes like that out of the box, but I don't know. Um, it, it, the clicks are pretty creaky. These are using Huano, Blue Shell, something dots. I don't know. I always get the dot color wrong, and then a few Southeast Asian people are mad at me. True story. Um, overall, the side button placement. Why, why did I just start talking about this? The side button placement on the left side is very nice. I was using the mouse in Fortnite. The buttons don't feel that great, but they're very light to activate, and uh, they surprisingly feel worse on the right side. Maybe I put like a worse back of the switches on the right side because they don't care about left-handed people secretly sticking it to the man um, the scroll wheel just beyond average not very well defined steps it feels sort of like the HyperX Pulsar haste wheel um, it's fine though uh, I was using it for scroll wheel reset no problems these Huano switches are kind of they're not like heavy they're like a medium actuation force but they don't rebound that quickly I noticed that they feel like a sort of just cheap standard switch I know that this mouse in the newer batches comes with kales um, but i think you can only get that version on mechanicalkeyboards.com why the fuck 
is this mouse like basically only available there and this batch with the juanos is on amazon so i'll link both in the description but it just makes no sense to me um the mouse is advertised at 65 grams but i weighed it before i started recording and my unit is 70 with obviously a bit of cable um so it's a bit heavier than advertised i knew when i got this in my hand i was like this isn't this isn't closer to 60 grams than it is to 70 grams um and of course i was right about that because i'm smart as fuck like in sub nobody no other reviewer is on this plane of intelligence um the ducky logo is illuminated and it's really sharp it's really sharp and clean i can appreciate that um so would i spend 60 dollars on this mess yeah i think it's no um <laughs> fuck i think it's a bit better than some Something like the Model O and the Pulsefire Haste. Um, so it is one of the better FK clones on the market right now. Um, these right-handed sidebinds are kind of an annoyance for me, but they don't completely ruin the mouse. The mouse, the clicks have some nice comfort grooves on them, so it's all around comfortable if you have like medium to large hands in play claw, I would say. Um, but then again, if you have that hand size, like why are you picking this mouse over so much shit in the competition? Um, I, I don't know. That's just a question I can't really answer. Nothing about this mouse makes it, like, stick out. Um, yeah. Can I just end the video? Is it long enough? Who, who cares? Live by my own rules. Um, that's all for this video. Make sure to uh, leave a like and sub if you enjoyed. As you can tell, I was really excited to record this. If you're looking for a mouse with modernized features, um, like good, not great quality, that actually resembles the FK2 shape, give this a try. Um, the textured grips on the sides are really nice. I know I like mentioned them at the beginning, but I just want to say that again. Like They aren't a complete fucking failure, which is, it's really a hit or miss when it comes to mouse grips, I feel. Um, but yeah, that's all. Like and sub. Peace.